so this time we're going to be making a bottle opener. So we're going to make, make a new part. making the bottle opener today. Uh, well, we're going to be making all three of the ones in the end of the, s the third lesson packet, but we'll start with the bottle opener. So go ahead and make a center rectangle about about that size looks good. Smart dimensions. Let's make them nice even numbers. <coughs> Go ahead and extrude that. Doesn't have to be very thick, maybe try around six. And you got your base feature. Now you're gonna want to we can go ahead and make the the triangle shape go to the line tool. Select the front face. Go ahead and try it about there. Actually, before I do that, uh, what I like to do is I like to set a reference line that goes from here. Select the line. Reference line from here to here. <coughs> you can do is you can use that as a reference point for which to line up these all, all these sides <laughs> so that's easier to make the triangle extrude that other direction Actually, before we do that of this line. Oops. <laughs> Just want to get rid of that line. Why is it getting rid of the whole thing? that you want it to move in is the one that you're facing. Oh no, that's actually the axis. So if you wanted to move it up and down, you'd open like that, and then you can change. There we go, that's better. Put it to about there. Extrude cut. And now that you have that, go ahead and make another ellipse intersects with it. So right around uh, here let me Yeah. Intersects right around the same spot, so right there. And then from there you'll extrude the boss base. Set to the same depth as that. And then there you go. Which bottle opener. Of course, you're going to want to flay the edges a bit. Let's see. You're going to want to flay all these corners. Oops, not that one. Now, let's see. Two. I'll try about two 
two and a half. And there you go. You got your bottle opener. Maybe you change the material. Something that looks nice. Let's go. That's deal. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Now that that's done. Should I just save that as bottle opener? And then ready to move on to the next one, which is door. Door is probably the easiest out of the three. It's pretty much just a rectangle with a smaller rectangle on the inside and then using chamfer. Okay. Let's go ahead and make the rectangle. Oop, I don't want the top plane I want. you can either extrude cut a smaller rectangle from this or you could use the shell feature which is probably what I would recommend because it's a lot easier to do it this way so to about no more than that let's try eight uh, maybe ten would be okay actually yeah that ten looks good that well doesn't go in quite as far as I would like actually Try. We can try eight. There we go. And then within this, you're gonna want to make another rectangle right in the center that matches. That isn't, of course, is smaller than that one. <coughs> uh, let's go about five. I say. That looks okay. And go ahead and extrude that. You don't want it to be as far out as the base door is, or the base feature. So a little bit shorter than that, so we'll try around, try around five. Looks good. And then after that, you want to go to the flay. And instead of flaying, you want to go to the chamfer. This allows you to get nice flat edges instead of rounded ones. Select all the corners. Usually I don't chamfer it a lot, but I increase this so that it's more uh, it's more steep. Try around three, around four, around there, and there we go. That's pretty much the door. Let's see if this works this time. Organic wood. Let's go with cherry. door. This thing that is door. And then lastly we have the most difficult one probably would be the wrench. So for the base feature you're going to want to start off with again a rectangle. It's usually how it goes for most of these. Line. 
ones, perhaps. Slight dimensions, eh, maybe a little bit bigger. And set this to 20. Similar dimensions, I believe, to the bottle opener, but you're probably going to want to make it a bit longer. We'll extrude that. Uh, this one doesn't have to be quite as thick as either of the past ones. We could try around 5. And then you can go ahead and use shell. Let me set around four looks pretty good. And then next you can either add the circle on to the end or you can fillet the corners. Whichever you prefer really. I will I'll start by filleting, I think, yeah. That would probably work better. So you wanna fillet this corner and this corner so that it's pretty much completely round yeah like that I think there you go since the edge of the wrench is round you're going to want to make it look round probably could have shelled this a little bit more but that's okay it'll do fine select these corners fillet those There, there we go. Then you got the edge of the wrench. Now you can go ahead and extrude, cut a small circle near the edge here. <coughs> right around there. Bring up a little bit. Make it a little bigger. Right around there. And then you can go ahead and extrude that. And you got that. Now, for the last, well, not quite the last thing, but now you're going to want to sketch a circle. Make it big enough so that it can, it's flush with the sides, so maybe about, uh, make it a little bit smaller and move it down as well. Don't want it to be too big. There we go. And you can go ahead and move that so that it's so that's flush with the, the sides here. You don't want there to be any gaps. And you also don't want it to come down too far so that it goes past where the shell is. Go ahead and extrude that inwards. Five. And now, the last two steps would be to, well the last complete step is to get the space for the wrench for where you actually use it. Just set up a circle. Uh, let's see what size is this. Set this to like 15. And then do a center rectangle. No, let's, let's set it up here and make it so that it lines up with these walls here. And then extrude, cut this whole thing. Don't know if this is going to work actually. Uh, okay, let's, let's see what's going wrong here. Uh, we could just do this step at a time actually, that works too. So just extrude this circle. And then you can go ahead and do the rectangle. Just for sake of, uh, sim for just for simplicity's sake. Really. And extrude cut. <coughs> and there you go. You got the wrench. Now you're going to want to fillet, fillet these corners here. A little bit, not too much. Maybe set around two. And we'll try one and a half. There we go. And then what I also did is, well, first you want to fillet these two as well, so that it's more smooth. Just four. There we go. And then what I also did is I selected both of these faces, and I filleted all of this stuff very slightly. Like point five. 
Well, let's try point. Point. Let's go point six five. And then that causes the whole thing to to just look a bit more like a wrench. And there we go. There's your wrench.